It's the NFL on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Birds and the Niners next on Madden Football. Well, they don't call them the faithful for nothing, Brock. Fans numbering 70,000 strong have made the trek to Santa Clara, and they're ready to cheer on their 49ers here at Levi Stadium. Alongside Brock Heward, I'm Kate Scott, and Brock, I know you're excited about this one. That's because it's shaping up to be a pass-heavy showcase for these QBs. Kate, keep your eyes on the skies, because that's where the offense and the fireworks are going to come from. We've heard from their teammates and coaches about the trust they have in these quarterbacks on the field to really steer these offenses. In a quarterback-driven league, that trust is essential to compete week in and week out, and we should have a good one today. Jake Moody now ready to get this one started. And we're off from Levi Stadium. This one's fielded at the 40-yard line. The turn's looking good so far. And he gets across the 30 before he's brought down. So here come the Eagles for their opening drive. They're led out by a QB coming into his fifth NFL season out of Oklahoma. It's Jalen Hurts. Kate, it's not often that we talk about quarterbacks having a nose for the end zone in football. It's usually reserved for the running backs. But Jalen Hurts has changed that conversation. He has so much power, so much strength. You get him into the short yardage situations or around the goal line, he finds a way to get in. But it's not just there. He's got a deep ball that's the envy of many. He's elevated his teammates around him. And he's got a skill set that I know a lot of quarterbacks would sure love to have. And he'll be out of bounds right along the 40. I know I could sound like a broken record when I talk about timing and getting the ball out on time and on rhythm. But these outcuts, it is so imperative. And the best of them make it look oh so easy. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Takes off right out of the read option. Breaks the tackle, still going. And he has it up towards midfield before he's taken down at the 47. That one gains seven. And that's good for an Eagles first down. The difference right there, Kate, between that gain and a big hit for a loss, some really quick decision-making. He made a quick read, saw the running back was going to get hit if he handed it, and he pulls it himself for a positive gain. Jukes one defender, and they bring him down around the 34. It goes as a gain of 19 yards, and that's a Philadelphia first down. Kate, I know you can see that smile on my face as we stand next to each other. Sure, I love that run. But I'm thinking about some great running backs. In fact, Corey Dillon, who created a lot of negative grades on my play sheet because I didn't want to carry out no fake. I wanted to watch the damage he could do like we just saw. Here's first and 10 from the 34. Here's another carry for Barkley. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. Well, he was supposed to be the one who chipped away a few and got a new set of downs started right in rhythm. Instead, he's now forced to pick himself from behind the line thanks to a great effort defensively. Offense to the line for second down. They go to Barkley again. And this one does not go far. It's only a gain of one. Back-to-back -back misfires on the ground, and they're facing third and long. I think one thing you learn, Kate, when you transition from college to the NFL, not every run is going to be a big play. Some of them, well, they're just destined to end in a minimal game, and some of them will set up that critical play action for later. Here he is on third and long. Open receiver, cut. And that will not be enough for a first down. You can earn your money in the NFL in all sorts of different ways, but defensively, in a league where you're just not hitting as much in training camp, you're not tackling as much as they got to in the old days, when you can make a play in the open field, keep it short like that, 
I promise you some money will follow. He's going to look to throw on fourth down. That's caught beyond the marker. And he'll get them enough for a first down. Oh, so close to getting off the field. But the fourth down conversion keeps that defense out there. That was their shot to end this possession, to sit on the bench, to get their breath. Now they're going to have to buckle down and force another fourth down. They go play action on first. We had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose, incomplete. As a defense, you got to see the pass. you got to time up your hit, and you got to jar that ball loose. Not a lot of offensive players are hanging on to that one through a well-placed hit. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. They are throwing it again. This one finds Goddard. And it's good yardage, but they tackle him short of the sticks. The goal of running that drag route is to get it to him for at least a minimal gain with space to add after that. They picked up a good chunk. And there was nearly room to add even more. Third down, one yard to go. Throwing here, Hurts. Spins out of one stop. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. That's what we call situational football. You spend all week working on your nickel passing game package to take advantage of third downs just like that. up an excellent opening series well you couldn't ask for a better start to a game than that the offense taking it all the way down the field and finishing with six these opening drives kate are such tone setters it is why every offense loves to script their first 15 plays right everybody knows what's coming allows you during the practice week to get into rhythm but even better when you're that sharp that crisp and you finish off and get the early lead now Jake Elliott on to attempt the extra point. That one right down the middle. And they add one on to their first touchdown of the contest. Turn start to the five. And this drive will start inside the 25. So here come the 49ers now to take over for the first time. And bringing them out, you cannot call him irrelevant ever again. Took his team to the Super Bowl last year. It's Brock Purdy. You know, Kate, people won't stop recognizing Brock Purdy as Mr. Irrelevant right at first, but they better start recognizing his game. He shed that label of his draft status to me long ago. He proved there is no fluke to his talent. He knows how to see it, how to feel it, how to deliver it, and most importantly, he knows how to elevate the people around him. Here's Purdy to throw. Fires over the middle. Pops. And he'll get it up near the 38-yard line before going down. They'll get 14 yards and a new set of downs. I know the Combine tries to test everything it possibly can physically, but I don't know how you test courage at the Combine because there's nobody defending you. Nobody wants to hit you. But that was the epitome of courage to make that in cut and make the catch. Now it's Purdy. Escapes the pocket. Oh, look at this. Here he goes. Decent yardage picked up here before he slides down to avoid the tackle. 
You know, Kate, back in the day, we had a slip and slide to practice for moments just like that. Actually practicing how to slide and get out of harm's way. Nice gain on the play. And denied that defense yet another chance to take a shot on him. Second and three. That finds Ayuk complete. And his short game gets them a new set of downs. I'm sure coach, a play caller, doesn't mind making the job a little bit easier. You know, play calling's a lot simpler and easier when you count on the offense to move the chains on those early downs. First and ten, ball set up at the 48. Looking to throw, Purdy. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he's going to be brought down after reaching the 43. That is the epitome of staying on schedule. That kind of completion right there on first down. Well, it opens up the entirety of the playbook for second down. And the third and short in your back pocket, you can get even more aggressive and take that shot. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. From the 43. This one is tipped away and incomplete. Good positioning to make a play on it. That forces third down. Oh, look at those savvy linebackers. They're just right in the middle of everything, aren't they, Kate? And it seems like at times they are the quickest reactions as well. You needed a quick one right there to get a finger on the throw and change its direction. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. Purdy to throw it. Complete beyond the marker. And he takes it just inside the 40, down to the 39. Five yards on that play and enough for a new set of downs. You know, they call that the money down for a reason. Because you're just simply not going to last long in the NFL if you don't convert a good portion of your third downs. It's the money down. And nice to see them roll the dice and continue the series. We'll get this complete to Jennings. And it's a touchdown. He made the catch and took it the rest of the way. The 49ers finish off their opening drive. So sensational work by the skill man there, Brock. Anytime you can make your quarterback look that good, you know he appreciates it. <laughs> That's a quarterback's best friend, no question. <laughs> but on the other side, gosh, defensively, you got to get that, that skill player down. Yeah. Period, end of story. You can't give up that much yards after catch. Jake Moody on for the PAT. That one splits the uprights, and we're all tied up. to kick it away. Here's Moody. Here's a return from the seven. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. The Eagles about set to get going for their second drive. They'll try to emphasize what worked on their last drive, which ended Brock in a touchdown. drive will start out with a first and ten. Here's Hurts. He'll dump this one off to his running back complete. And they're going to bring him down just beyond the 30 at the 31. I call this quarterback's best friend. Some call it a safety valve. Some call it automatic. But it's sure nice as a quarterback when you've got a trusty running back over the middle of the field that you can depend on. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. From the 31. Has a man. It's Brown. And this one's brought to a halt at about the 36-yard line. That goes as a four-yard pickup, and it gets him a first down. 
That's just great instincts. Go air it out on second down rather than just play conservative and run it. They hit a weak point in the coverage and don't need to worry about third down at all. On first down, they'll run. And they're able to grind him to a halt after a pickup of four. He'll expect more from himself on those type of plays, but there is nobody that's going to complain about that one. If you can do math, four plus four plus four equals a first down. Second and six coming up here. That's the end of one. Both teams with a little luck finding the end zone early. Scoreboard showing sevens on each side. Back to Levi Stadium right after this. Ready now for our second quarter. The Eagles have the football. They'll have second and seven to deal with. Hurts looking to throw. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. Couldn't connect with Dallas Goddard. And that takes them to third down. I think that was a throw, Kate, that just came a little bit too late. What it did is it gave that defense time to come up and deliver a pop and knock the ball loose before he could secure it fully. Throw on third down. It's tipped away and it's going to hit the ground incomplete. Defender winning that rep. That brings up fourth down. You know, as a QB, I'm going to note that in the back of my head. That was a heck of a break. Knocks the ball away. DBs like that, they tend to, once they get one hand on the ball, have a pretty good beat on you and can get two hands on it the next time. Fourth down, and on comes the punt team, and the kick's away. He's got it at the 17. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. Call that a booming 56 yards in the end. And the offense ready to head back out onto the field. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Purdy throwing here. Completed here to McCaffrey. And he'll take it up to the 30 before being brought down. Translatable skills. That's what you call it. So effective as a runner, but those same traits that make him a great runner, adept at getting those yards, well, he translates it now as a receiver in the open field. Second and three now. Throwing now off play action. Brought in by Ayu. And he'll get taken down after advancing this to the 37. That's good for seven yards. And that's a 49er first down. Move the chains. Got to move them chains. Build momentum and keep that defense on its heels. Markers reset. Ball at the 37. They'll run here on first down. And he's brought down for a loss. You know, for pitchers, you know, you'll hear them say, gosh, you got to pitch this guy backwards. For defenses, you got to do the same at times, Kate. You just can't always run it on first. You got to mix in some high percentage pass plays. Otherwise, you're going to get hit right in the face for a loss just like that. Second and 12 behind the sticks. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. Couldn't find Debo Samuel on that throw. And that's going to leave him with a tough third and long. Timing is everything in life. And timing is everything defensively. That throw was just a little bit late and gave the defense time to close, deliver a pop, and knock that ball loose. Buys time, rolling right. Oh, he's going to run for it. And they'll make the stop up at the 46-yard line. You know, that's a really good play. I, I know it doesn't get the first down, doesn't keep them on the field, but what it does is it keeps that defense honest. And I promise you, the next time in that situation, they'll have that run in the back of their minds. 
It's a punt coming from the Niners on fourth down, and Mitch Wisnowski out to boot it away. The Eagles ready to set up shop on offense. And they'll try for better results this time around, Brock, after they had to punt it away last time out. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Hurts setting up to throw. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. Well, that's a pretty similar result to a first down run play. Moves it forward, keeps you on schedule, and makes second and third down a whole lot easier to manage. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. to throw hurts this fine Smith and they're gonna bring him down just beyond the 30 at the 31 a five yard gain on the play and that's good for an Eagles first down they like to say it's about the Jimmys and the Joes I think that's about the X's and the O's that's a well drawn up completion that nets them a first down shotgun snap looking to throw Goddard makes the catch. A 19-yard pickup, and that's going to move the chains. You want to become a quarterback's best friend? Do that. Turn a short little gain, a short little pass, into some yards after catch, and that quarterback will find you again. A new set of downs awaits him. Here's first and ten. to throw. Taken in by Smith. And he's going to be brought down after reaching the 43. That is a textbook first down completion. Sets up second and very manageable and creates space to take that shot downfield. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Short side option here. He's running left. And they make the stop. We're going to say it about the 37-yard line. They'll say he got five there, but Brock, all they care about is the first down that comes with it. What's that saying, Kate, about discretion? Discretion is the better part of valor. Well, decision-making for quarterbacks is so critical. And that time, excellent discretion. Protect yourself, get the first down, and live to play another day. Option design here. And he won't get anything there. Several defenders nearby to hold him up. No progress on first down, and that'll bring up second and ten. These big D tackles in this league, they love weaponizing their size right in the middle of the field. It is so hard to clear lane against them. And once he got his paw on him, it was dead on arrival. Second and ten now. Throw drifted too much, and it's going to wind up incomplete out of bounds. Looking for his wide receiver there. And things look tougher now with third and long. Defensive coaches in the NFL say it all the time. Limit the big play. Keep these guys in front of you. Well, this defense is going to have to stay vigilant because this receiver, he could take the lid off a of defense at any time. Third and long for him here. Able to get it to Barkley. And he'll get this down to the 33-yard line. You know, I, I like the completion. You never turn down a completion. That's just not the right throw to make in that spot to move the chains. So on fourth down, on comes the Eagles kicker, Jake Elliott, for the try. This a 50-yard look from the right half. And this kick is good. He needed to get all of it there, and he did. And that's going to break our tie and give them a three-point advantage. A lot of them may make it look automatic, but you get this deep, and those field goals are far from a certainty. It took all this concentration, every bit of his strength, to send that puppy through. Elliott 
Cassell set for the kickoff. That's going to be taken in at the eight. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. Well, we've already seen some nice plays here, and we're going to see plenty more before this game ends. But you might be thinking, with plays like that, my guy's ratings should be better. Well, you're not alone. you got a chance to let the Madden Ratings Hotline know just what you're thinking. Give them a call. 1-844-MADDEN-1 and make your case for who should get a boost. Now try it right with McCaffrey. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. I talked to a bunch of different GMs, Kate, especially around draft time, and they all say the same thing. Linebackers are so hard to find. It's hard to transition from the college game that's in so much space to this game where you've got to play in a phone booth yet have that explosiveness to chase a play on the outside down like that linebacker just did. Here's second and 11. And down he goes. The Eagles got him. And that pushes him back. Third down coming up. Yeah, let's give some credit to the defense here, Kate. Right? We talk about explosive plays. Every offense is looking for them. But when a defense can go back-to-back, -back, Jack, with a tackle for loss and a sack, well, they're more than doing their job. So it's the two-minute warning here from the home of the faithful. The 49ers with a lot of work to do to get into scoring range. They'll try and pick this up on the ground. And they get him right at the line of scrimmage. Timeout taken by the Eagles. That's going to be their first. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. The 49ers are lined up in punt formation. Back deep for the Eagles, Britton Covey. He broke 50 on his first punt and looks to have done the same here. And they bring him down to put a stop to that return. 58 yards on the punt there. And they'll begin this possession in just a moment. in a good spot here as they come up to the line first and ten hurts and the 49ers get there and take him down and the big play drives them backwards second down coming up those defenses spend all week trying to find that numbers advantage. How can I get a guy free? Or how do I get my best rusher in a one-on-one -on -one to beat him and get home and get that sack? That was study put into action for the SACK. All right, here we go. Second down. Another try following the sack. He finds the open man there, complete. It's a 23-yard pickup on the play. And that's a Philadelphia first down. Every tight end worth his salt wanted this. Really craved man-to-man -man coverage. The best of them, give me man-to-man -man coverage, and I'm going to beat you. I was around Dallas, Clark, and Indy, one of the best. You play man-to-man, -man, he's going to find a way to out-leverage you, separate from you, and make a play just as that tight end did. Now hurts. He's got Smith. Dukes out of one stop. They get 27 on the play. And that's good for an Eagles first down. 
I think my favorite part was the magic he worked after the catch. The way he took the completion and made so much more out of it by adding all the extra yardage. He brings the offense up now for a first and ten. From the red zone now. Got a man. Uzama has it. And he's got it inside the 15 before going out. Every once in a while, it's fine to be conservative on first down, especially when you get enough to stay on schedule and get a little something coming out of it, too. Second and six coming up here. Throwing it again here. We had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose. Incomplete. See the pass, time up your hit, and jar that ball loose. Not a lot of players are hanging on through a well-placed hit like that one. So after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. Throwing here, Hurts. He's on the move. He'll make a bid for it on the ground. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. You know, that's one of those little mental Rolodex plays. Right before the snap, you know if the read isn't there, that option isn't there, you can use your legs to make the adjustment and go get the first down. This offense in position now. It's first and goal. Running back sent in motion left. Here's Hurts. And he scores. It's a Philadelphia touchdown. The Eagles will add to their lead at the end of the half. So Brock, this offense looking sharp here in the first half as they extend their lead. You know, and when things are going well, sometimes you really just get into a groove. And this is a unit that's putting the pieces together. Elliott on now to attempt the point after. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Elliott's all set for the kickoff. And he opts not to bring this one out, so they're going to enjoy some good starting field position from the 30. Last drive of the half isn't going to be long. 14 seconds remaining. Turn to the ground game and just run this clock out. And he sneaks this through the middle, maybe a gain of two. So as we reach halftime, we see the visiting Eagles taking a lead into the break. Now it's time we checked in around the league. Here's Jonathan Coachman with the EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Kate, thanks very much. Back to you and Brock in a bit. But first, time for our EA Sports Halftime Report. With that, the two squads are headed out of the tunnel. So let's get you back out to K. Scott and Brock Ewer. As always, a hat tip to Coach for his hard work during the break. Kids, we're happy to welcome you all back for the start of our third quarter. Tell set for the kickoff. Return coming from the six. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. 
The 49ers offense ready to get to work to begin this third quarter. That score made it 17-7, but they can cut it back to a one-score game here. They're out and set, first and ten. Purdy to throw it. Catches made down the right sideline. And he made a bid for midfield there, but stopped on his own side at the 49. It's a gain of 22. And it brings up a San Francisco first down. <laughs> That is what elite offenses are all about. Why worry about three downs when you need only one? Move the chains in one play and keep driving that defense backwards. One play in and already they're close to midfield. From the gun, here's a handoff. Escapes a defender. And he heads out of bounds. Great pickup on that run. They're going to move the chains after a big play. 39 yards. Didn't take a rocket scientist to know, Kate. They wanted to get the ball in this guy's hands any way they could. Not just in the passing game. We just showed you why. This defense not prepared for his impact on the ground. He tosses right to the short side. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. They say about great outfielders in baseball, there's just something to them. They've got a knack of feeling instinct to take the right line, the right angle. For safeties to create tackles for loss in the run game, it's the exact same attribute and skill set. Got to take that right angle and then go finish that runner. The give here on second. And it's a nice game, but still not enough for the first. I got to really rack my brain, Kate, to remember a play, a run in this league that nice that doesn't end up getting an offense the first down. He did all he could to will this drive forward. Third and a lone yard coming up. Going to run again with McCaffrey. And he's dropped just short of the marker, maybe a yard away. Less than a yard needed here on fourth. Throwing from the gun here. And got his man. That's a San Francisco touchdown. The 49ers cutting to the lead, coming out of halftime. All right, partner, what do you think? Was that a design read, or did he just see space and he was reacting more on the old quarterback instinct there? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think yes on both of them. And that play happens so fast that it really is instincts on both sides. On is Moody for the extra point. That one splits the uprights. And they're a point closer now on the scoreboard. Raleigh set up, and it's away. Just a three-point game now. This one's fielded at the 40-yard line. And he's brought down just inside the 25 on the return. The Eagles and quarterback Jalen Hurts ready to go once more on offense. 
And as we see some of the highlights from their showing, his work a big part of why they're in front right now. Having a nice, solid game as their offensive leader. I think we can say he's had a firm grip on the wheel and has really driven them to this advantage. Get this drive started. First and ten. Hurts looking to throw. Open receiver caught. And he flips the field for them before being taken down. You know, Kate, we often talk about flipping the field in special teams, right? A, a kick return, a good punt. Well, an explosive play like that does the exact same thing. Look at the difference in field position. By hitting on that shot, you've totally flipped the field and the tone of this drive. So the complexion of this drive has changed dramatically now. New set of downs inside the 35. Barkley trying this up the gut. And he's going to get this to the 29 before he stopped. It's a gain of three for him. And that brings up second and seven. You know, not a ton of yards, but still showing that commitment to the ground game. The type of run that keeps the defense from loading up in coverage and focusing entirely on that passing game. Second down now, seven to go. From the 29. <laughs> that one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. Ball and defender arrived at the exact same time there. So that brings them to third down. Hey, listen, drops happen in football. It is a part of the game, even for the very best. Nothing more to do about it now than shake it off and move forward because the next throw might be coming right back your way. Throwing on third and long. He has the first over the middle. And they have this well into the red zone now at the 15. It's a pickup of 14 yards as the chains reset. You're not going to last long in the National Football League if you don't convert a good chunk of your third downs. Nice find there to continue the series. They are now set for first and ten. Working inside the red zone. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. That's a throw that's got to go somewhere else. Double coverage waiting for it. They were thinking interception for a second, and incompletion is still pretty good, too. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Option give here. And he got what he could there, only to the 14. Only two yards on the play, and it brings up third and eight. You know, they got some positive yards. That's a good thing. But too many plays like that, it just is too hard to pile together, get first downs, it gets the better defenses in this league. They're going to throw it on third and long. And the 49ers get there and take him down. And the defense comes through. That's going to back him up and bring up fourth down. This defense has been trying like mad to do anything to disrupt the rhythm, get the QB off his spot. It's got to be a massive relief to see their efforts paid off on that play. So on fourth down, on comes the Eagles kicker, Jake Elliott, for the try. He hit his first one. His second one's coming from inside of 40. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that'll double their lead to six. Well, that's why they spend all the time on the practice field during the week. That kind of operation. Perfect rhythm, perfect timing, and a two for two for this kicker. All set for the kickoff. This return starts at the five. 
And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. The 49ers and Brandon Ayuk running onto the field. And I think they'd be content doing everything the same as their prior drive and getting another touchdown here. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Look at this. The wideout gets it to start this drive. And he'll get it up to the 27. He gets a couple on first, and they'll come up second and eight. Well, that's a tough one because you can see the beginnings of what looked like an explosive play. Let's give some credit here, Kate, to the defense. A great job to bottle him up before it came to fruition. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. From the 27. He's got it. Room to run. And he's up to the 35-yard line as they reel him in. Well, this is the type of game we've come to expect from him as a runner, toting the ball, but he's just as adept at turning the screen into the same kind of yardage, too. Here we go, third and less than a yard. Throwing from the gun. That one is caught left side of the field. 16 yards on the play. And that's a 49er first down. You know, it sure seems like he knew exactly where he was going with that before the snap. That's a pre-snap decision that led to a post-snap first down. First and 10 from a yard shy of midfield. Shotgun snap, they're gonna throw. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose, incomplete. Well-timed strike by that defender to knock it free. And it sets up second down. You know, anytime you see a player tapping his chest, I'm not a great lip reader, but I know exactly what that says. My bad, my fault. Quarterback delivers him a good ball. He knows that's one he should have caught. Now it's Purdy. Right side, got a man, complete. A solid gain there, gets him across the 45 before he goes out. Third and six for them to figure out now. A tight end in motion now. To the air, third and long. The Eagles swarm in and take him down. And the defense comes through to back him up ahead of fourth down. You're going to go play action, Kate. You've got to sell, sell, sell. If you don't convince that defense you're running it, or if it's a situation where you never run the ball, you really do leave your quarterback dead in the water, vulnerable against the defense who will storm right past that fake and right into that pocket. They'll bring out the punter here. It'll be Mitch Wisnowski doing the honors. Averaging a little under 50 a kick so far, Brock, as he gets away another one. And this punt is out of bounds with no chance at a return. Looks like they're going to spot it at the 30. And like we've seen from him before, Brock, he got a good game going early through the air and kept the pressure up from then on. He's still taking it to him now as we work through this second half. First and 10 now from the 30. Back to throw, Hurts. Short pass caught by his tight end. And this one gets to the 33-yard line before it's stopped. He's just one of those guys, Kate. Even when he's not open, he's still a target thanks to that physicality and his ability to just play bowling ball. They don't like forcing into coverage, but sometimes when you got a bully like him that can create space, just find a way to get him the ball. From the 33 on second down. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And he'll get it up to the 44. And that one goes for a gain of 11. And that's a Philadelphia first down. Sure seems like he knew exactly what he wanted. And he got it going right where he wanted to with the ball off the snap. From the 44-yard line now, first and 10. Hurts. 
that man open. Complete. And he nearly takes it to the red zone before going out. A pickup there of 33 yards. And that's good for an Eagles first down. From a great throw to a nice route and catch to moving the chains. There wasn't a whole lot not to like about that amazing play. Now they'll hit the line just outside the red zone following that big play. They are throwing it again. No luck on the connection. It's incomplete. Devontae Smith, the intended target. So it'll be second down. Those passes get more and more difficult as you try to get aggressive downfield. I love the call. I love pushing the ball down the field. But the windows and the throwing lanes aren't there long. And it only takes a little bit for a throw to be off. Second and ten now. Brought in close to the eight. And they get this down to the seven-yard line. So they'll be set up with a first and goal when we come back. It's Eagles football trying to carry this lead across the finish line. Four downs now to get in. Here's first and goal. From the red zone now. To the edge of the end zone, oh, it's incomplete. So after the incomplete pass, here's second and goal. to throw escapes the pocket trying to get away from the pressure but he can't and they drop him and they're headed in reverse after that sack oh I hate that they've eaten up some good yardage on this drive can you get down in the red zone and this is where you really got to stay on schedule let's get some credit to this defense they know the job they got to do got to knock you back and make this now red zone attempt not much more difficult So now, here's third and goal. Throwing here, Hurts. That one's incomplete in the end zone. Thought he had a touchdown there. And that brings up fourth and goal. Well, that was almost one of those nice chunk plays you like to see in the NFL, Kate, before he was able to recover and provide the hit and ultimately dislodge the football. You like to see that physical edge and scrappiness to contest any kind of shot plays down the field. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that'll make it a two-score game. It doesn't take a math major, Kate, to realize how important that field goal was. It's now a two-score game really late and puts them in the driver's seat to go and finish this thing with the win. Elliott's all set for the kickoff. This one's fielded at the four-yard line. And that's where they'll begin the drive following the return. Now out comes the San Francisco offense. They're up by two scores, Brock, but we've got some time left, so they still need to mount a drive here. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Oh, 
Purdy looking to throw. Into the hands of Samuel, complete. And he's got a decent game before being brought down. Second and six coming up here. Now Purdy. That's brought in by Jennings. And he's out of bounds beyond the 35-yard line. That one ends up again a gain of six. And it brings up a San Francisco first down. It sure seemed like he knew exactly where he was going with that right off the snap. First down, ball at the 36. Shotgun snap, looking to throw. This ball's cut by McCaffrey. And that tackle stops him after a solid game. I don't know why every once in a while I'll get these little flashbacks, but a little play like that just flashes me back to the preseason, my first preseason, when one of the veteran QBs said, hey, Brock, whatever you do, just find completions. You will never go broke taking a profit. Go get a completion. They're at a premium in this league. From the 41. Got a man. McCaffrey has it. And they push this down to the opposing 47-yard line. They'll move the chains after that pickup of 12. A play like this, that's exactly where you want to get in the ball. Right on the outside, where he's got the space and a lot more room to work. Football on that 47-yard line, first down. They send Samuel Wright. Still sticking with the passing game. Fires over the middle, caught. And they get this down to the 28. That play goes for 19 and a new set of downs. Well, that is pretty darn impeccable timing between the two. They hit a curl route of that length. It takes great anticipation and precision by the quarterback and the receiver on the other end finishing it, doing his job. got themselves another first and ten. He'll throw it yet again. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. Tough one to retain through that hit. And now they face second down. True story, Kate. After practice one time, the head coach in the NFL said, I'm done with my fault. I'm done with my bad. No more of that tapping on your chest. That was an example of the quarterback delivering a perfect pass. And the receiver, do your job. And he got it real close, but stopped just about a yard or so shy of that first down. So much to like about that run, Kate, particularly what he was able to get out of it. The defense, and it feels a little fortunate they were able to track him down before an even bigger run and crossing that first down marker. Third down, one yard to go. Throwing now, off play action. And it's caught. And his tight end takes it home. Touchdown. All right, so the offense does its job, Brock. Now they need their defense to give them a chance to overcome that big deficit. The momentum in the building's clearly changed. We can feel it here in the booth, but you're right. It's now up to the defense to make a stop and give them a chance. On his Moody for the extra point. That one right down the middle. And they're a point closer now on the scoreboard.
We're down to a two-point difference as they send the kick away. Return coming from the six. And he's brought down. The offense will come onto the field. And he has continued to own this defense and keep on throwing that football partner, making this performance one that he's going to remember. Uh, but as you like to say, the defense will probably rather forget. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Straight ahead. Here's Barkley. Tries to power through him. And the ball is loose. Solid four-yard gain there. And now they've got second and six coming up. Ooh, so close to a big play defensively there, Brock. But now these guys got to stay out there. They were unable to bring in the fumble. They just forced. They do. Got to bring a little bit of juice. But kind of like a boxer when they get a guy cut, they know. Mm. Man, if I get that first cut, I can make them bleed. And you get that ball out the first time, I guarantee you, I promise you, those guys are thinking they'll get it the next. And he's short of the first after a mild game. Good luck defending that short yardage slant. Just not going to happen. There's a reason. This is a go-to play for just about any quarterback in every situation. Battle coming up on third and inches. Looking to throw. Pressure comes. He's taken down. The 49ers got him. And the defense comes through. That's going to back him up and bring up fourth down. Kate, the game wasn't on the line with that series, <laughs> but don't tell the defense because they brought the urgency and juice like it was. Getting the sack, setting up fourth down, well, it picks everybody up on that sideline. And now their offense gets a chance in a one-score game. The Eagles are in punt formation. And he'll try to have his second punt top his first one. And a fair catch made without incident, just inside the 25. That punt goes unanswered, no return there. And that is where they'll start the next drive. They're out and set, first and ten. Purdy throwing here. Short pass caught by his tight end. And this one gets to the 33-yard line before it stopped. That's what you call efficiency. Exactly what you're looking for in first down. Textbook. It sets up second and very manageable, and then creates that space if you want to take a shot downfield. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Looking to throw, Purdy. He's got it, room to run. When there's heat, that blitz coming off the snap, that QB's eyes, you could see it right away. He got to his check down in a hurry. But, Kate, here's the key. Quarterback and running back have to be on the same page. The two were right there, and then netted some positive yards. Third and a lone yard coming up. <laughs> Trying an inside give now with McCaffrey. He's tackled with the first down yardage. We've reached the two-minute warning in Santa Clara. 49ers needing a couple. New slated downs to approach here from the 40. Ayuk put in motion left. Now it's Purdy. He'll get this to Samuel. And he goes out close to that 45-yard line. There's no negatives ever on a great sheet for a completion, but that's one of those situations. If you're going to take a risk and throw an out route, you'd sure like to see a little bit more yardage gained. Second and six coming up here. To throw. Brought in by Ayuk. And he'll be brought down after getting it to the 47-yard line. And it's a pickup of nine yards. And that's a 49er first down. Nice to see that connection, that chemistry working between the two of them. 
Football on that 47-yard line. First down. Motioning left is their running back. Throwing now. Kittle brings it in. And he's going to be drugged down, looks like, at that 37-yard line. They get an even 10 on that play. And it brings up a San Francisco first down. I love throwing on first down. And when you see a first down pass just like that, it's taking advantage of a matchup you plan for and you go out and execute. Here he is to throw. Got a man over the middle. Complete. And they take him down right along the 30. We get a timeout here taken by the 49ers. That's going to be their first. And they still have two available for them as we approach the end of this game. Second and three now. Looking to throw it. Got a man open. Complete. And he's out of bounds inside the red zone. Short of the 15. They'll get 14 yards and a new set of downs. It was such a privilege for me to watch Marvin Harrison and Reggie Wayne in person in Indianapolis do their work. Daryl Jackson out in Seattle. They showed how great a deep out is as a chain-moving play. It's all about getting that leverage at the top of the route and then exploiting the leverage as that ball arrives on time downfield. McCaffrey running between the tackles. And he'll come up with a gain of three on the run up the middle. The defense calls a timeout. So that's their first. And they still have two available for them as we approach the end of this game. Second down now, seven to go. They stick with McCaffrey. And he's brought down for a loss. Timeout taken by the offense, their second. Still one more in their pocket to use. Let's see what they draw up on this third and seven. The receiver gets it again. Man, they're keeping him busy. And he'll take this only to about the 11 before going down. Timeout taken by the defense. They're second. Still one more in their pocket to use. Fourth down now, and on comes Jake Moody for the 49ers field goal. This only a chip shot from the right hash. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And they've taken maybe a decisive lead in the final minute. You know what I love about that, Kate? He didn't shrink from the spotlight. He seized the moment, made it his own. And that kick might just win them this game. to kick it away. Here's Moody. His return starts at the five. And he gets across the 30 before he's brought down. The Eagles about set to go on offense. They were only on the field for three plays their prior series, Brock. Let's see what changes they make to take over here. Hey, Kate, the best kick returners I was ever around, really at any level. They want this opportunity. They want their chance to help their team. They know they're down, but they also know that return, especially a good one like this, can set the offense up for success. Now to throw. Into the hands of Campbell. And he'll get taken down after advancing this to the 37. Hustling everyone back to the line. 
He'll look to throw it. Try and push it deep downfield. He's got it inside the 25. And he does quite a bit of damage before they finally take him down. After four quarters of battle, it comes down to their kicker. The 49ers will call their third and final timeout. And now they're powerless to stop that clock with a timeout at least. Jake Elliott out to put up three for the Eagles. This is a 35-yard look from the right hand. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And barring a miracle, that's your game winner, folks. I know that was a kick he could make in his sleep, but with the game on the line, he delivered. All set for the kickoff. And he opts not to bring this one out, so they're going to enjoy some good starting field position from the 30. They'll get this drive started. First and 10. Back to throw. A bit of desperation on this deep shot. And this one falls incomplete. No miracles on the final drive today. This game is over. So the Eagles will fly out of here with their own win. And there was no easy enough. It took some white knuckling until the very end. But their defense carried that small lead through to the finish line as they escape with a victory. So for Brock Heward, our incredible crew, everybody here at EA Sports, I'm Kate Scott signing off. We'll see you next time.